guys. I gave Chance a chance and I loved it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Jessica and on my channel I pretty much talk about fragrances so if you'll be interested in any of that content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So in today's video, like the title says, I will be talking to you guys about some of the fragrances in my collection that I feel are the most feminine. Um, there might be more that I forgot about, but when just looking through them, these were 10 that I picked that I know that give me that like feminine energy. And when I say feminine, don't get me wrong, anybody can wear fragrances. That is man, woman, doesn't matter. If you can pull it off, it smells good to you. Hey, rock it. However, these are just the ones that I know that give me that feminine energy. They give me soft life, you know? They give me like, I can't stress, I can't shout. Like, my life is just soft and gentle and I literally just like float and everything just works for my good. I don't know how to say that well. But anyhow, if you just want to smell delightful, I don't know. But these are fragrances that I would recommend. Or rather, should I say, these are fragrances in my collection that give me that vibe and I just thought that I would share with you guys. So if you will be interested in seeing which ones I talk about, go ahead and keep on watching. What I will talk about is Giorgio Armani My Way. So this is a beautiful floral fragrance, guys. It's a beautiful tuberose fragrance. But this one gives you that modern take on tuberose because I know how some people talk about tuberose being very vintage-y. Like, it can smell like older women. Um, I actually don't have any fragrances that smell like that, that has tuberose, so I don't know. This one gives you like a very fun, flirty, girly vibe to it. I love it. It smells like that. It smells like bubble gum, but not necessarily in a bad way. So you do get like that jammy sweetness, but it's not necessarily too jammy. It's not jammy from the rose. I think this one actually has like more white florals in there. I know this definitely has jasmine in there. I feel like most of my fragrances that have jasmine and tuberose, I usually just like fall in love with. So this one falls in that category. It's also slightly fresh. It's sweet, guys. This It's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is a fragrance that I feel like you cannot necessarily go wrong with. This is the, it's the My Way Intense. Um, the only issue that I personally have with this fragrance is the longevity in the sense that this does not last that long on me, probably about five hours, I think, or maybe even six at most. But then again, fragrances perform differently on people. Some people, this could last all day. Some people, it could last one hour. Like, you never know. Some fragrances perform different on people. So um, take any review you ever hear with a grain of salt. I just really, really like this one. And if I were to describe the fragrance to you, it's a sweet floral fragrance that kind of gives you bubble gum, but not too much. It's also a bit flirty. It's perfect for like everyday wear. It's perfect for going out. So I feel like it's quite versatile in the sense that you can dress it up, dress it down. It's amazing for a date night. You will just have that person sniffing your neck, sniffing your arm, wherever you spray this on. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Um, if I were to rate it, probably an eight. In this category that I'm talking about, this would probably be an eight or a nine. Actually, this might be a nine because this just gives me like feminine aura. This just gives me like a beautiful, sweet princess or a beautiful, sweet, girly girl next door. Next perfume I'm going to talk about is the Guerlain from Mon Guerlain or Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. Is it Guerlain or Guerlain? I'm not sure how you say it. Forgive me, guys. But guys, I've talked about this one quite a bit. And as you guys can see, I do have a dent in it because I do reach for this one often. And I do have like a lot of perfume over 100 bottles. So this is a big dent. Guys, this one just smells amazing. This is sophistication in a bottle. It's a sophisticated lavender vanilla scent to me the lavender is prominent but it's not too heavy and then you get that vanilla this is just so gorgeous guys this one is definitely giving you soft baby girl vibes like you don't stress in life this is a fragrance that when you wear it it just gives off that vibe that like you have everything done for you. You have maids, you have servants, you just have people falling when you walk. <laughs> this just gives me like, not necessarily like boss boss energy, no. This one just gives me like that soft, not necessarily playful. This one isn't playful. This one is actually more grown up. This one is actually more put together. This is the grown rich auntie that is quiet. 
and a bit introverted. Like this perfume just smells so amazing. It smells rich. It smells comforting. It smells cozy. It smells good. <laughs> That's the best way I can tell you. It smells good. Like if I was to describe it, it's lavender, it's vanilla, and it's floral. It's not necessarily fruity. You get more of the floral notes in this one than fruits. But guys, amazing. This projects really well. I find that this perfume projects really, really well on me. And this is also a perfume that leaves a sillage. When I stand up and I go away, they can still smell this perfume. I've gotten a lot as you can see. I like to wear perfumes that I get compliments on. I don't know why. I just really, I mean, I, I know we don't care about compliments all the time. It's a lie we do. Oh, um, <laughs> but uh, I like to wear perfumes that I get complimented on. And this is one of them guys. Like this is one that if I know I want people to notice me that day, but not in a loud slap you in the face way, but like in that soft, like, ah, oh, look, the princess has arrived. That kind of vibe. That's what I get with this one. It's a strong, solid 10 over 10. Projection, longevity, everything. This one just works for me personally. It's off that feminine energy, feminine vibe. Like the quintessential lady, okay? Like it's just a fragrance that smells like you're very put together. That That's what I get from this one. The next fragrance in my collection that gives off that soft, feminine vibe. And when I say soft, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying these fragrances are like they soft, like not... Into, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, that's soft life. Soft life is a saying for like, when you don't like to stress, life is just easy, you know, you don't do too much. Like, it's, it's just like something we say. Um, but yeah, this is another one in my collection that gives me that soft girl vibe and is the Lancome Idol. I don't know how you say it. You guys see how thin that bottle is? I have the 1.7 or is it the one ounce I have? I think this is, I don't know. 1.7 I think um this one is a nice fragrance guys it's fruity it smells so good it is so feminine it is peachy I feel like the note that I get in here oops, dropped it on my mouth I feel like the note that I get in here is peach that's what I pick up the most and then you get like the floral notes as well it's jammy but not necessarily like the jammiest if I was to classify or if I was to tell you how this fragrance smells I would say if you smell like Delina, it doesn't smell like it, but it will be like the younger, 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 younger cousin of Delina. Like it falls in that family. Not the ooh, not Delina exclusive, but like the actual Delina. So it's sweet, but the sweetness of this one is, it's not berries. It's not giving me like a berry sweetness or anything like it. It's giving me sweetness from that peach. So it's like almost fuzzy. It's sparkly. It just smells good, but like, I don't know why. I don't reach for this fragrance that often. I don't know why. I guess because I forget that I have it because of how thin it is, so it doesn't stand out to me. Um, but this is just like your versatile, everyday fragrance. It's perfect for going to work, perfect for running errands. I feel like if you wanted one fragrance in your collection, this probably would be a good option as well. Um, it is kind of expensive, I think, because I remember when I bought this, I wasn't really into fragrances like that, so I didn't really know about buying them for discount prices. So I think I got this retail? I'm not sure. I can't remember. But I feel like you could probably find it now on discount size for less. I feel like anybody could pull this off. I feel like it's inoffensive. It smells good. Um, projection is low to moderate, and I think longevity, I don't remember, if I'm being honest, because I haven't worn this in a while, so I don't remember. Um, the longevity. I'm sorry guys, but I really don't remember the longevity. I just know that it smells really, really good. Oh yeah. It's juicy. It's <laughs> it's juicy. It's like ripe peach. It's a juicy peach. Oh, it smells good. I would, I would highly recommend this one. Honestly, it's a 9 out of 10 for me. And the reason why it's not a 10 is because I don't wear it often. Now the next fragrance that I would talk about, this one is the headmaster not the ceo but like the headmaster this is this one is this one is the head of hr for um the baby girl association okay because this is giving you soft life it's giving you baby girl it's giving you just fun and flirty it's giving you just living your best life without thinking too much about the future <laughs> but some people would also say this is their boss scent to me it's not necessarily a boss scent to me this is more of a playful scent it would be good for dates. It would be good for brunch, going out with your friends. It is the Chanel Chance EDT, the Utendre. 
This one was a gift from my, from my sister for my birthday and I love her so much because it's funny if you guys see the sister tag that we did um, where I rated some of her perfumes where I told her I, I had never, uh, I didn't have a Chanel in my collection. I have a lot of perfumes but I didn't have a Chanel so she decided to give me this one and uh, told me to give Chance a chance and I absolutely love this perfume guys. It smells so good. I didn't think I would love it as much as I did but I do. I did not wear it during the fall and I haven't really been wearing it this winter. This is one that I know that I definitely would appreciate more in the spring summertime just because it's like this light, sparkly, fruity perfume, guys. It smells really, really good. Ugh, it smells so amazing. I love it. I feel like it's just a very pretty girly perfume in the sense that a lot of younger people would appreciate this, but I feel like a lot of older people would too. Oh God, it just smells good. It smells, I'm trying to think of the right word to describe this, but it just smells amazing. It smells really, really good. It's fruity. This is another fruity floral. This one, I feel like you get more of the fruits. I do not get vanilla off of this, although I feel like there might be. I just get like, probably raspberry. And like, I don't know if it has lychee in here, but then it's like, it's light versions of it. It's very light versions of it. But then there's also something sharp in this perfume as well. Um, I'm not sure what that sharpness is. I feel if you told me this had bergamot in it, I would believe you. There's something not necessarily zesty, but it's sparkly. It's bright. It's a very mood lifting fragrance. At the same time, it's soft. This one is a 10 over 10 because this lasts on me, surprisingly. This is a fragrance that I know that summertime last year, I wore it a lot to work. I got a lot of compliments on this baby right here because I was going into the office more and more uh, when we opened back up. So I did get a lot of compliments. People seem to really enjoy this. Like even after a long day at work, when I get back and I go to my friend's place or I run errands, people compliment me on this so I can still smell it. So that's how I know that this actually lasts a really long time, guys. This one would be another a 10 over 10 i'm not gonna lie it's a 10 over 10 because it lasts really really long and it smells really really what good what i'm gonna talk about guys is the mont blanc from uh it's the mont blanc signature so it's signature from mont blanc this is what it looks like so this one is a creamy orange smelling perfume like little orange like the juice from the orange and like a parts of the skin not too much of the skin more of the juice than the skin that's what you get in this and then it's like creamy and like tonic guys i love this perfume it is soft it is beautiful it is femininity it is just it's an intimate perfume it's sensual without necessarily being sexy it is not a sexy perfume it is just it's it smells good guys this perfume smells really good this is my second bottle actually and that's because my first bottle i love this so much but one of my aunties yes my aunties are really into perfume but one of my aunties smelled this on me and i she loved it so much i just had to give it to her because the way she complimented me i love that perfume it just had to go and every single person who has smelled this like even just off of the bottle alone like when my friends come over and they smell my perfume and even on me they have loved it. Like this is a no brainer. In my opinion, it's very inoffensive. I feel like the creaminess can make you wear it fall winter because of how dense it is too. But then that orange juiciness in it makes it perfect for like spring, summer as well. This is one that I feel like you can wear year round, guys. It smells so good. It's airy, it's zesty, not spicy, but like ze that orange gives you that zing, guys. Oh, I love it. I really love creamy fragrances, so this one is just perfect. It's like orange lotion. I don't know if this, is that a thing? Do they have orange lotions? I don't think there's any lotion that has like orange in it. I'm not sure. But anyhow, I feel like if there was, that's what this would give you because it just smells like smooth lotion on skin like ugh, I don't know. it smells good it smells smooth it smells sensual it smells soft but it's not necessarily like the softest um <laughs> this one will be a strong eight over ten because i cannot remember this one lasting that long i think i get about six to seven hours on this one and the projection isn't loud it is intimate i would say this is intimate this is light to moderate but more on the lighter side 
if you get hugged like if people come in your personal space they would definitely smell this one and they would definitely tell you that they smell good but other than that it's just like an easy breezy beautiful cover girl <laughs> perfume um that i feel like you just can't go wrong except next perfume that i'm gonna talk about guys is the deja vu white flower from kayali i don't know if you guys noticed my juice is actually darker than when i first got this perfume this perfume caught me by surprise when i got it i liked it i was just like oh yeah it smells really really good i really really liked it a part of it gave me ysl libre um but this one is more of like a sparkly champagne type of vibe it's bright it's zesty but it's giving feminine this is like a white floral so this one is giving like a sophisticated soft baby girl vibe like this is giving gorgeous gorgeous girl like gorgeous gorgeous girl in her white outfit and her hair is like it's not even giving me ponytail no this is giving me like long flowy curly hair that's what this is giving me it's giving me your parents have money your parents are rich it might not necessarily be you who's rich but like your your family is wealthy you know you come from wealth and you don't like showing off that you come from wealth. Instead, you like to hang around with everybody. You like to make everybody feel good. You don't like making people feel like less just because you come from more. <laughs> I'm saying no sense, but that's what this fragrance is. And guys, look at, do you see that? Oh my goodness. Yes, I could spray and spray and spray and spray this fragrance. It smells amazing. It's beautiful, gorgeous zesty sparkly champagne -y white floral that i just love this is my spring summertime perfume as much as i say that i love how it smells i keep this one solely for spring summer because that's when i feel like it shines more fall winter i have too many other perfumes that i will go to but this one is perfect for vacation yes i would say that this is good for vacation as well i just think it's one that you can't necessarily go wrong with I will give this one an 8 out of a 10 because longevity isn't necessarily the best, probably about 5 hours. And projection projection is good because I have gotten compliments off of it, so I know projection is good. Um, I feel like projection is moderate, not loud, but not soft. Because the people who've complimented me for this, they weren't necessarily the closest to me but they were still able to smell me guys this smells so good the juice is just beautiful i you guys know i love kayali so most of what i have not most everything i have from kayali i love and if i don't have it that's probably because i haven't tried it or i did and i just didn't like it so the next one i'm gonna talk about i don't think i could do this video without talking about this perfume guys it wasn't even possible and i will not talk too much about it because i feel like by now so many people know about this perfume and it is the gentle fluidity gold from mfk oh this perfume is vanilla it's <sighs> i was gonna say spicy vanilla but it's not spicy from like cardamom or like those heavy heavy spices this one is more nutmeg and it's a bit fruity as well it's a little bit creamy i would say just a little bit creamy this is just it's beautiful guys this is just a woman filled with grace and class this one you're living that soft life this one you're not lifting a finger everything is being done for you you do not stress in life like everything just falls in place for you you are god's favorite child <laughs> this perfume smells amazing it smells so good the name is so perfect like gentle fluidity gold this is this is a woman the essence of a woman <laughs> i feel like the last couple ones i'm going to talk about give me that essence of a woman vibe this one is just beautiful it smells good it projects well moderate not necessarily loud i do pair this with um le parfum royale from elisab and that actually gives it a very loud projection but without that one this projects really really well moderately on its own uh longevity i probably get about I feel like this perfume, if I'm being honest, it stays all day on me. It's It becomes skin scent though. I will let you know after a couple of hours, maybe like four or five hours, it becomes skin scent fast and like skin scents in the sense that when you put your hand or like your clothes close to your face, that's when you smell it. However, 
it doesn't matter however even if it's five minutes that it lasts this smells so beautiful guys it just gives you that creamy sweet vanilla so scent. the next fragrance i'm gonna talk about guys this one just gives off soft baby girl floating on cloud nine like you're in the clouds you can't be disturbed with anything that's going on on earth like earth problems are not your problems with this one like if it's the roja elixir guys this one is a gorgeous perfume it is so good it's a gorgeous perfume for the gorgeous gorgeous girls honestly this perfume is just gives you everything it's not a loud perfume guys this is not a loud perfume if you want a perfume that when you go you will stand out you will scatter you will shake this is not the perfume for you i'm obsessed with roja fragrances i ha i don't own a lot of them but i've smelled a couple of them at the store and i'm just like oh my god i can't wait to have you i don't know what that whisper was but that's how i feel about roja perfumes um <laughs> it's just so elegant this is just an elegant smelling fragrance guys i noticed this fragrance has a lot of notes in it i think one of it that i remember is like peach and a bunch of other fruit notes i don't remember what the notes are but this one gives you fruit it gives you floral it gives you light i, I don't know it's it's soft it's it gives you powder so i feel i won't be surprised if there's iris in this or if it's violet i'm not sure but it's a powdery sweet smelling perfume this is another one that i feel like will be perfect for a bride a lot of people have complained about the longevity this is actually my fragrance of the day i do not have an issue with longevity i feel like i get about i was checking to see if i can still smell myself i feel like i probably get about maybe like six hours okay because i don't really smell myself plus i have other perfumes in the air um but i probably get about a good because i spray this at seven o'clock in the morning and right now it's about four o'clock and if you over spray and you layer this with um for example the almond musk from genre perfumes or the buddy butters like today i wore this with sunday and i feel like i smell sunday more than nah, that this stays this actually stays if you layer it properly i didn't do a lot of sprays because like i said i'm in the house i was working from home today so i didn't feel the need to actually like spray more Guys, this perfume smells gorgeous. This it gives this feminine energy right here, guys. It's a gorgeous feminine fragrance. So as much as I told myself I was not gonna get this fragrance, I got it. The reason why I got it was because I saw it for a ridiculous price. Because this is literally one of the most feminine smelling perfumes I have ever put my nose on. Guys, this is femininity to the core. This is what a woman. I feel like every woman that wants to smell good, and this is just my opinion, needs Delina in their collection. Like Delina smells amazing. I smelled the original Delina. Um, I haven't smelled the La Rose, but I hear that that one's supposed to be like a lighter version for people who feel like this is too thick or too much and they don't like that. So I like the fact that the line or the brand kind of tries to cater to people. And it makes sense because I feel like this is one of their best sellers especially with women and i've heard a lot of guys say guys in the fragrance community say that they love to smell this on women as well and that this is a fragrance every woman should have or they feel like a woman should have in their collection and this is only for like if you're into perfumes you don't have to have this i'm just talking about like if you're really into perfumes and you like buying perfumes this is one that i feel like you definitely should try but i would say buy for a discount this perfume smells so good it's so jammy and beautiful however and that brings me to the last perfume i'm going to talk about i feel like i'll just talk about them together is the van cleef and arapels rose rouge guys you should know i will not do this video without talking about this perfume because do you see my dent yes i've talked about this one so many times you guys know i absolutely absolutely love this perfume this perfume gives me this perfume but this one is like a lighter softer alexa version of this so i haven't smelled the la rose or la rose of this one i'm thinking maybe it will be closer to this one because these two smell alike in my opinion they don't smell exactly the same but they smell alike and they give off that exact same vibe like this one is like the essence of a woman like it's sparkly it's juicy you guys already know how i feel about this gorgeous jammy rose fragrance so this one gives me that with a lot more depth 
So I would rate this one a 9 out of a 10. Actually, yeah, I should, let me not lie. This is a 10 over 10. The only reason why I'm saying that 9 over 10 is because that one, okay, you know what? I'll give this one a 10 over 10, but that one is 100 over 10. But if you guys are going to be sticklers and say, no, it has to be 10 over 10, then this will be a 9 and that will be a 10 because I like that one more than this one. However, this one performs better than that one. Let's be honest. This performs better than that one. This one projects a lot more than my Rose Rouge and it lasts longer than Rose Rouge with a lot lesser sprays. Cause Rose Rouge, I go ham when I spray to get it to stay on me and to project as much as I want it to. This one, you don't need to spray that much. It'll get the job done. It will get the job done. It just smells good. It's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It's like I said, jammy rose fragrance with that extraness of oud to back it up and give it like an extra, mm, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, be beautiful, gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I feel like it smells absolutely fantastic. It is stunning. Um, if you want this fragrance and you do not have the money for it and you don't necessarily believe in buying dupe for fragrances, you can get this. It is not a dupe. This one is gorgeous in its own facet, in its own, of course, it is gorgeous. It is not a dupe for Delina. It just gives off that same vibe and that same energy. But yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you watched all the way to the end, you're the world MVP. Let me know what you think about these fragrances down in the comment section. Do you have them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know. Let me know what other content you guys would like to see from me. I'd love to hear your ideas. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. New subscribers, hey, and welcome. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.